holding their T-spawn. Um, they've taken this very slow. slow. The bomb's slowly walking up house. Uh, my mouse is really bad, and I really suck at drawing, so you will have to forgive me for this. Uh, Krish with the Nova. Krish the Pro, he seems to have changed his name. Um, and uh, that's a weird crosshair. It looks like it's going to be slow. They're not checking sandbags, or are they? DNM takes the head off. Soifong, DNM, two quick kills, two headshots coming in. But the bomb is, looks like it is going to go. DNM, three headshots. The IGL for, make that four. It's like I'm just counting down for the frags here. And is DNM looking for the eco ace, the IGL for the team, doing a lot of damage. And it's Sis who gets shut down by Zilk. And it's a flawless round coming in here for uh, Virtual Impact. Uh, it's going to be a double eco for uh, NXL. I think it's going to be Glock buys all around. For Famasas and a Nova, Chris just looking for those uh, shot, that dirty shotgun money with his Nova. And uh, let's see what NXL have in store uh, for their eco rounds. Watching NXL play earlier against Brutality, they always seem to have a plan even on their eco rounds, which is quite a pleasure to watch. But it's going to be... It looks like it's going to be another... A B push coming in. DNM... Krish though, two quick kills, and it's all under Frosty Misty, who has a Nova on him, but gets shot down by Zilkenberg. Uh, I think it was DNM and Krish getting two kills apiece, shutting down that particular B rush. But now is the all-important bow round coming in for uh, Team NXL. And what do we see here? We have an op on Krish, and uh, I just want to figure out what the what the setup is for. Uh, for the team, Mad is so smoking deep for his uh, smoking in really deep for his team here. But the smoke has failed. The smoke has failed at deep banana, but uh, doesn't really matter. Krish gets the opening frag, and uh, Krish getting two frags. Zilkamer peeking mid as well, getting another one. However, gets sprayed down by Frigid, and uh, Krish making that op work at mid here. And it is four on two in favor of Virtual Impact on the buy round for Team NXL. NXL, uh, Frigid. Frigid and uh, Rosify, the two men left alive here for uh, the team. It, uh, they're slowly walking up uh, carpets, uh, but Krish holding that op with his op over there. He has been pretty good this round so far, getting two nice kills. And... Uh, are they going to pick mid any time here? The flash comes in. He should spot the man at mid, but his head gets taken off by Rosify. A nice headshot coming in from him. And it's all on the man here to try and hold the sight. Uh, waiting for his team to rotate. The rotation, they're taking the time. DNM slowly walking back, but the bomb is going to go B here. 30 seconds on the clock. And Snorlax, DNM already out of place. It's all on Snorlax here. The smoke is raining in. Snorlax going to flash out. Or is he? No, it's a <laughs> double fake coming in. It's going to be uh, a play. Bridget going to get the bomb down and uh, Mad trying to prevent them from getting the plant, but the bomb is going to go down here. And uh, Mad looking the wrong angle. He gets taken down by NXL's Bridget and it's Rosify and Bridget trying to set up a crossfire. And it's looking pretty tough here for uh, Virtual Impact. And... Yes, Rosify takes down DNM. It's all on a Snorlax. Can he really clutch his run for his team? Spots the guy at Graveyard. Ish, but it's almost down. It's just taken by Rosify. And NXL pulling off a brilliant 4 on 2. Uh, sorry, 2 on 4. Uh, I wouldn't call it clutch, but 2 on 4 situation. Taking it off. A nice double fake as well. They take the first uh, round on the first uh, buy round as well. Uh, the money. Though, uh, Virtual Impact, they didn't really lose many people earlier on in the, in the half, so uh, they have enough money for the buy. Virtual Impact should have, should have had that round, but uh, NXL, nice double fake coming in, and they were completely unable to read that. So let's see what we have here. We have... Uh, it looks like it's going to be, again, a slow A play. Um, this is going for the peak here. And it's Frost Misty, who is in boiler. Just, just, try, just, just trying to peek and prod, trying to see who they can find. 
but it's going to be a B play coming, an A play coming in. The smokes are going to be set up any moment. It's going to be pit here, and it's all down to uh, Mad with his Famas. Can he really hold this for his team? The rush is coming in, and he sprays him down. But Matt, he, uh, the refrag comes in from a size as well. Zinkelberg, however, shutting it down over there at uh, at A side. He gets two kills, and Chris gets taken out. However, Rosify, it is a two on two situation here. However, Rosify is so low on health, the bomb is gonna go down. I think Rosify already in pit. The bomb is down here. The retake is pretty much possible, but. Uh, Very tense situation here. Uh, the Molly coming in, but no, it doesn't land in the pit. And uh, Snorlax has taken down, and uh, DNM gets Sis, but he has no clue where Rosify is. Is he going to go for the defuse? He's mauling the balcony, hoping is there, and yep, the, the defuse is not going to come in. He has no time whatsoever. He's going to run away, but gets taken down by Rosify, and uh, it is 2 3. Still in favor of Virtual Impact, but two rounds by NXL back to back on the buy rounds. And Virtual Impact are going to be forced to uh, eco here. And it's going to be the same, uh, the same setup for Virtual Impact, even though it's an eco. Krish going a little aggressive in, uh, in carpets with that P250. And uh, the game just all tapped out. I am so sorry about that. And we should be back in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The game is lagging so badly. Anyways, uh, Chris has been taken down. The carpet rush not really working out for him. Rosify taking down DNM as well. Um, and uh, the bomb is still at mid. They still haven't really committed to any site yet. Uh, and who's that guy in carpets? I think it's Mad just holding, uh, holding a dark room. But it's going to be a B play coming in. It's all on Snorlax to somehow try and do something about it. But just with a P250, it's a supernova, but uh, it's a really pretty skin. So no smoke failing. No, it's not. At the flashes, the smoke's raining, and Snorlax can do nothing about it. Frostmas gets another frag onto Mad, and Snorlax just going to rush into the smoke, but gets his head uh, gets taken down by Sis. And it's all on Zippenberg with his uh, USB Orion. Such a pretty skin, but that will not help him out at all as Rosify takes his head off, and it is 3-3. The game is right now at equal scores. 3-3, and it is going to be a bike again coming in for uh, Virtual Impact. They really have no money, and if they do lose this round as well, they're going to be forced to eco as well. E eco again. So it is 3-3. Three, three. Uh, NXL winning all the buy rounds so far. Uh, the bomb... It looks like they've made up a mind of what they want to do here. Again, it's a standard hole usually from NXL. They, they just try to control. They get complete mid-control, and then they can pretty much go wherever they want to go. And it looks like it's going to be an A-play coming in here. Uh, the smokes and flashes raining in, and Krish, can he hold this on his own? He nades. The nade doing quite a bit of damage in Frost Misty, but uh, Krish getting completely smoked off here. They're all there at mid, and this flash, a nice flash coming in, but Chris unable to do anything. Zilkenberg, the trade's coming in so quickly, I have no idea who's killing who, but DNM manages to, manages to fry uh, one of the members, and it looks like, looks like it's going to go Virtual Impact's way, but you never know, and it's frigid, all in his load, some 5 HP, he's running back to, uh, to T-spawn here, trying to possibly you know, go to B and get the plan, but it looks like, it looks pretty impossible right now. For uh, for NXL for this particular round, so it's going to be four three in favor of, of Virtual Impact. I'm just going to change a crosshair here. I have no idea who uses such a crosshair, but uh, give me a second. Crosshair style five. Who uses that? Uh, no, I got to use dynamic crosshair, I guess. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go with this. Doesn't matter. Uh, Frigid, he's going to go for the save, 14 seconds, no time, he has the AK with him, 5 HP, and uh, yeah, at Virtual Impact, they are not going to go risking their guns just going for that last frag, so it's going to be 4-3 right now in favor of Virtual Impact, and it remains to be seen if they can build a momentum right now. Um, I think NXL, they can potentially buy up, they should be able to buy up if uh, Frigid drops an AK to Rosify, 
Uh, Rosify can, yes, that's exactly what it did. Frigid dropping the AK onto Rosify, and uh, I think it's going to go for a Galil buy, I guess. Or is he just going to go with the CZ? It remains to be seen. No, he is just going to play with the CZ, sacrificing his AK for his teammates and buying up all his nades over there. He spots the guy in uh, in balcony, but uh, in mid window, sorry, and uh, there's nothing much he can do about it. It looks like it's going to be an A play coming in. Uh, the virtual impact guy is falling back, playing it very safe. But Zinkenberg and Krish just holding, you know, setting up a crossfire at mid. But it looks like the bomb is going to go carpets. There are four guys already stacked up in carpets and in mid. And let's see if. Uh, the bomb is going to go. Yes, it is going to be another pit pit play here. They have control of, of carpets. Matt, again, can he shut this down for his team? He's tapping through the smoke. Gets a first take on assist. Gets almost gets a second one. But Chris Zirkenberg all teaming up. And it's a complete shutdown by Virtual Impact. And uh, that round quite not working out for NXL. They did catch Virtual Impact with surprise of previous, uh, I think, a couple of rounds back. But... Uh, we are not falling for that same trick again. And it is going to be an eco round coming in here for NXL. Just going to go through the names uh, once again. I didn't have the chance to do that. So for Virtual Impact, we have 46, a.k.a. DNM, the IGL for the team. We have Zilkenberg all the way from Mongolia. We have Krish, Mad, and Snorlax. And on NXL, we have Rosify, Sis, Frigid, Frost, Misty, and Soifong, who just got burnt by DNM. And uh, DNM playing out of his mind today. He's the IGL. He's not supposed to frack so much, but 12-4 as a score right now. And uh, NXL just holding, just holding the site. I mean, just holding back near the bottom and mid. Sis, the only guy, you know, just pushing in water, hoping to go for, uh, hoping to get a lucky pick or something. But. Christian Zilkenberg working in tandem here. And Zilkenberg is going to peek in. Is he going to spot the guy there? No, he's not. And uh, they still haven't made a play yet. They're just holding and waiting. But uh, I don't think they, I think they're just waiting for no reason because Virtual Impact, they're not going to they're not going to peek at all. They're just going to play this as safe as they possibly can. It is going to be a B play coming in here. And I am going to switch over to the top fragger so far and the IGL DNM here. The flash comes in. He's just holding the angle here. And he sprays down, gets two kills, but gets taken down by Frost Misty. But Snorlax over there drops the bomb on, uh, uh, drops Frost Misty, I'm sorry, who in turn drops the bomb. It's all on assist now, who was lurking around a border. He's running down. He gets hurt by Matt, and he takes him down. So a pretty easy uh, round coming in, al although they do lose uh, DNM and I think Zilkenberg as well. But uh, three Ks, three eco kills coming in for DNM. And. Uh, a buy round, obviously, for uh, Team NXL. And the five AK is all across the board here. And op on Krish. Is he going to go for a mid-peak? No, he's not. Just going to play passive, I guess, from uh, from Quads. No, I think he's going to go for a... Is he going to do it? Is he going to do it? Is he going to go for a JW shot at house? He does have someone walking in here. And he gets a shot and assist. A risky, cheeky peek over there working in his favor. And... Uh, DNA, the rotations already happened. DNM's already rotating about to uh, CD base here. So hasn't gone all the way. That was still holding here. Slowly walking back. Because it looks like it's going to be a B play. Snorlax mauling it. It's going to be a Fnatic smoke strat coming in to try to plant. And DNM gets taken down. Everyone's in the sight here. And it's all on Snorlax. He's smoking. Smoking calls out. Spraying through the smoke. Gets the kill onto Rosify. And Chris taking the head off Soifong. But. The smoke's everywhere. I can't see anything. The players can't see anything. And Frost Misty getting two quick kills. And Zuckerberg, however, replying back with Frigid and Mad. And Zuckerberg going in for the retake. And the last two men alive making it count. And it is 7-3 in favor of Team Virtual Impact here. Zuckerberg picking up the op for Krish. Or is he going to go for the op? I was going to give it to Krish. And Krish, a good spawn for him. He might be going for the mid pick. Knowing him, yes, he probably would. But uh, the bomb going down, so NXL do have money to go for the uh, AKs and the uh, smokes, etc. They haven't even tried attempting to op so far. And they have been more of a, uh, you know, I don't think they really prefer using the op. Oh, Chris just made the shot, but look at the guy at mid Zuckerberg 
Fearless rushing in, he gets a kill onto Swifong, however, Ronsify gets a refrag. Uh, Krish smoking off uh, alt mid. And he's trying to peek mid, but smartly, wisely falling back and holding the angle from uh, Archer. It looks like no plays coming in yet from NXL. They're taking this very slow. One thing I've noticed about NXL is how slowly and so methodically they uh, play their games. Even though it might be an eco round or whatever, they just take the time, figure out what they're going to do, and try their best to execute it. And uh, it's quite a pleasure watching them play. Uh, very systematic, very different from you know most of the the way most uh, Indian teams play. But anyways, it's going to be an A play coming in here. The smoke landing on top of truck. Matt holding a different angle here. Spots the guy at balcony. Uh, DNM teams up. DNM gets two quick kills as well. Sorry, Matt. DNM gets two quick kills. The bomb is down though. I think they know where he is. The flash coming in, and Fuji dropping two quick headshots there. A one on three clutch. Can he do this? The bomb is down. It's his plan at balcony. And Snorlax, Snorlax, he, is he going to go for a diffuse? He is going to go for a diffuse. Can he do it? But no, Frigid pulling off an incredible three, three on one clutch there. Well played by him. And 7-4 uh, is a score line. And uh, Virtual Impact, they should be able to buy up. Yes, of course they can. They have a lot of money to play with here. Uh, NXL though, they got four rounds on the board, they should be slightly satisfied with themselves over that, but uh, they lost four men in the process in the previous round, so they don't, they don't really have that much money. So a CZ on Soifong and a Galil on uh, Sis over here, but three AKs, they got the smokes, so... Again, once again, a very slow, methodical game. It, it's kind of similar to... Uh, how Navi plays. Speaking of which, Krish gets a nice shot onto Frost Misty, but uh, Swyphon getting a refrag on his Zilkenberg. And uh, it's a 4 and 4. The thing with 4 and 4 and 3 or 3 on 3 situations, especially in a map like Mirage, is that it is always on, uh, you know, favors the T side because you obviously got to split the CTs. Like, for example, now we have a 4 and 4 situation here. And obviously the CT's got to hold both the sides, so uh, they can't really commit to one side all alone. But the smokes are raining in here. Matt is in pit. He spots the first guy. He's not going to go for the peak. He is going to peak right now. Spraying down. Gets the guy. Uh, gets Rossify, but Swafo manages to take the head off uh, Matt. But look at DNM getting a quick 3K here. 8-4. Is a scoreline in favor of Game Got Virtual Impact, and uh, DNM sitting pretty on 19 kills and seven frag. Sorry, seven deaths. Top fragging for his team. And uh, what is NXL going to do now? They are on eco once again. And, yeah, like I was saying the previous round, they kind of remind me of how Na'Vi play their T-side, playing extremely slowly, methodically, and, you know, never going for any YOLO rush whatsoever. And uh, Zuckerberg getting the opening frags. Look at Zuckerberg getting a little too aggressive. Gets his head taken off by Sis. But do they know there's a guy there at bench? They do, and he's going to get taken down. Is he? They spray with a CZ, but he manages to run away. And DNM helping his teammate there, but Sis is in water. He peeks out. But a little too late, the, the Chris falling back. <laughs> Chris is surviving by the skin of his teeth over there. He's hiding in, uh, hiding in the site now, 18 HP, but mad. And put uh, DNM holding arch. It is an eco round, please. And look at them quietly walking up. They're going to walk up Arch and they're going to face DNM any moment. Now DNM spraying in, gets one, gets two. The bomb is dropped down at, uh, at Arch here and says he does have an M4 uh, to work with. He doesn't know where he is. And DNM peeking again and gets a head off, says DNM a 4K round coming in from him. And he is top fragging at 23 frags here. Of course, most of them were eco frags, but then no one's complaining. Uh, The buy is going to come in uh, for NXL, but uh, I'm not sure they have enough that much money for full nades. So they do have a few mollies, uh, a couple of flash, a few flashes, a couple, of, uh, a couple of smokes here and there. And Zilkenberg with the op. We haven't seen him off for a while. He gets a first frag. He thinks the, he thinks the second guy through the first guy. He's trying to trying to get the guy, but it's down to 22. He should fall back right now. Uh, I think he hit Rosify. Yeah, he did Ding Rosify down to 22 HP. And uh, 
effectively shutting down the B rush over there, and he's rotated all the way over to uh, to mid, and he's left DNM and Snorlax to take care of to take care of the uh, B side. But anyways, the the, t the NXL is still playing very slowly. It's going to be a B play coming in. They're going for the set smoke here. It looks like it's going to be the Fnatic smoke setup. So uh, they're going to smoke off. They're going to smoke off the site, and they are going to smoke off truck as well. And Molly coming in as well, and it's all on Snorlax. He's completely smoked off. You can't see anything, but DNM over there just holding him off. Snorlax teaming up with another kill as well. Uh, Frost Mystic gets a frag on the Zilkin, but. Uh, it's a little too late here for NXL. DNM, three kills once again. He is playing so well to CT side. 10 4, ladies and gentlemen. The last round coming in, and obviously, uh, look at the money situation over here for Team NXL. They are so broke, but they're just going to go for uh, CZs and uh, armor, whatever they can afford at this moment. And uh, an AK, however, they managed to scrounge up some money and get an AK, uh, which is going to hand it over to Frost Misty. 10-4 once again, and uh, look at the mid-push coming in here from Zilkenberg. I'm sorry, I'm so slow at switching here, but Zilkenberg and Krish just rushing mid, shutting it down before anything happens. But at, but uh, no, is it not going to work in the favor? No, it's not. The mid-push not really working out for them. Both of them get taken down. They got the guns to play with here, and it's all down to... It's all down to, I think, it's... Uh, Snorlax gets shut down as well, pushing in. They're all... No, they all have full HP. Just one guy who's low Rosify. It's all down to DNM here to try and do something about it. Can he do it? He's been playing like a god so far, but can he clutch his round for his team? A 4 1 situation here. Really, 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 really tough situation for DNM. And then I think they know where they hear him. And no, he's unable to clutch around for his team. But nonetheless, the score is 10-5 in favor of uh, Virtual Impact. Uh, N NXL, I'm not sure about how the CT side is. So um, I'm assuming they should be pretty happy getting five rounds on the T side. So good half being called. It is going to go into the second half with NXL on the favored CT side now. It remains to be seen what Virtual Impact does to... Uh, but I remember watching Virtual Impact playing against uh, Team Neckbreak earlier, and they did have a pretty formidable uh, T side on Inferno. So let's see what they do here. Matt is uh, AFK at spawn, or, or is he just trying to set up a smoke? Yes, he's not just trying to set up a smoke, I guess. And uh, let's look at NXL's uh, setup. They got three at B, sorry, three at A, two at B. It looks like it is going to be a slow A play coming in from uh, Virtual Impact. Krish. Slowly, slowly, slowly walking up apartments. Um, no armor, no armor at all on uh, on Team NXL. They're going for kits and smokes and flashes, and it's going to be a B play here by the looks of it. No, it's not. It's not. It's just going to be... It is going to be B play. They have circumvented around Arch. They're going to wrap around. It's going to be B play coming in. Rosify all alone, or is he all alone? No. He gets a headshot onto a Snorlax, and he gets another one, but the, fra the, but the trade's coming in, Krish and uh, DNM as well. And Zilkenberg gets a Rosify, the side is in control with Virtual Impact. The bomb is dropped, but uh, not to worry, it's going to get planted now by Krish. Uh, Size getting the frag, the refrag onto DNM here, the bomb is going to go down as a 2 on 2. Size on 2 HP, and look at Frost, and Frigid gets taken down, 2 HP for Sis. Can he do this? And he gets taken down by Krish. Krish getting three kills that all important pistol arts 11 5 in favor team virtual impact and uh, I, I really don't have anything to say right now it they are playing quite well I might say uh, three galils two AKs full armor by uh, a couple of smokes a few flashes here and there uh, NXL though NXL surprisingly they don't go for the usual uh, armor Armor CZ by they usually prefer. I mean, armor P to 50 CZ by they, they. I think they just prefer playing with, uh, you know, only the CZs. They never go for the armor buys. And it's actually worked out for them. I think it worked out for them in the Mirage map earlier. I don't know who that was against. Matt just trying to hold mid there. Zuckerberg getting the opening frag. Look at him spraying it down. And is B wide open? B is wide open. The bomb is going to go down and be here. 
Zuckerberg making me dizzy looking around so fast. I don't know what sensitivity is. And uh, I think NXL is just going to wait for the exit frags. They, yeah, they should just wait for the exit frags. It, it'd just be stupid to go in. And Zuckerberg, though, he's looking like an unstoppable monster. He's just looking for the frags and he gets the 4K. He wants it and he goes for it. And uh, a perfect T site, uh, an anti eco run coming in from Virtual Impact. So it is going to be 12 5 in favor of Virtual Impact. Four more rounds is all they need. And NXL, they have an uphill task ahead of them. They're, lev they're, uh, they're on five rounds right now. And they are again, once again, going for the eco round. Uh, 5 7 CZs and P to 50s all across the board here. And let's see what they do. Um, Zuckerberg. The entry fragger, the mad fragger for Virtual Impact. They're gonna slowly pick into Banana. The the bomb is with DNM. They haven't really decided where they're gonna go yet. Chris just holding for any push over here at uh, at uh, at carpets. Uh, but it looks like the rotation is gonna happen right now from the T side. They are gonna go into Banana, I guess. But. Frigid taking down Krish over there, um, losing a gun. Frigid gets the AK. The flashes are going to come in, and they're going to go in here. Do they spot the guy on top? No, they don't. Rosify gets the head off Zuckenberg. It's now a three-on-five situation, and Sis getting another kill onto DNM. It's all on a Snorlax. Does he spot the guy behind him? No, he doesn't, and Mad, spraying like Mad, but to no avail. He gets taken down 12-6. A nice eco round coming in from NXL, making it work. And by not buying any armor or anything else apart from the, the CZs of P250s, they have managed to build up a substantial economy here. Like, they have bought up completely. They do have, you know, $4,000 approximately on still on three players and up on Soifong. Uh, virtual Impact, though, they're going for the buy here. And three guys at, bit, uh, at B here at Banana. Uh, the smoke kind of failing. It found the tree instead of smoking off the uh, the bottom banana. Uh, it looks like it's gonna. Soifong, look at him just rushing in with the up, completely fearless. He's trying to channel JW spirit, I guess. Looking for the boost at the flower pot. No one's there, and uh, he's gonna very smartly fall back. And uh, no entry so far. If if Virtual Impact loses round, they will be forced to eco. So. Uh, pretty crucial round if they want to shut this down quickly they don't want to give NXL any space any space to breathe they don't want to give NXL any more rounds to play with they want to shut us down as quick as they can uh, before NXL manage to get any momentum so uh, Frost Misty spraying into Baller taking down a Zilkenberg just a 24 HP here uh, the three guys at A I'm Oh, I'm sorry. There are four. There are four NXL players at A here, and but Snorlax at the opening frag. Frost Misty, however, gets the refrag onto um, DNM. Just spraying Binding through the smoke here. Sis getting two quick frags over there. They're teaming up, setting up a nice crossfire. It's all down to Mad and Chris make something of this, and Mad trying to go for the bomb, but he gets shut down as well. And it's all down to Chris. They know exactly where he is. He yes, they do. But he gets a nice headshot on the frigid. Can he do this? Oh no, he turns away at the wrong moment and he gets taken down by Sis. And uh, uh, NX, NXL winning that round, just losing two people in the process. And finally, Virtual Impact will be forced to eco. Um, I see just blocks all around, maybe just a couple of P P250 buys, I'm assuming. And NXL, they have enough money to play with. Even if they do lose this round, uh, they should be able to buy the next round. Uh, it is going to be an ultimate push. But look at the madman who's rushing, carp uh, who's rushing carpets there. It's frigid. He's just going to hold an angle. It's going to be like shooting fish in a barrel right about. Now he's spraying through. It gets two. He falls back. And the nade raining in from the guy at border as well. And Frost Misty setting up a nice crossfire. Uh, at Boiler alongside Frigid, and uh, it is now just Snorlax and Matt remaining just with the Glocks to try and do something about it, but by the looks of it, a plant looks to be a little too much to ask right now. There's still 
want to walk up and it's going to be easy pickings for uh, Frigid here who gets an easy 4 kill on the eco round. The crowd going so quiet and booing. Alright guys, come on, cheer up. Cheer up team, come on, why are you guys so quiet? And it's all down to, uh, sorry, I mean, uh, it's going to be a buy anyways coming in from Virtual Impact here. They do have uh, 5 AKs, smokes, nades, flashes all around. And uh, if they do lose this round, again, it's going to be an eco. So uh, NXL, they're just uh, playing this very, very safe, very, very orthodox. Just trying to hold the angle, just trying to play passive, not going for the crazy pushes. Unlike Virtual Impact, I mean, uh, on, the, on the CT side, they did try to, uh, you know, go for the aggressive mid-pushes and peaks by Christian and uh, Zilkenberg and so on and so forth. But uh, it did work out for them in a couple of rounds, but that also made them lose a couple of rounds as well. So it's always a gamble, you know, playing aggressive. Sometimes it just works out, sometimes it doesn't. And uh, anyways, let's see what's going on here. The bomb is at mid. Uh, three guys, Snorlax and Zilken... Uh, Snorlax, Zilkenberg, and DNM. It looks like they're going to try and push uh, mid here, but they're going to get shut down by Frost Misty, who has the uh, who has Zilkenberg's AK here. And but Snorlax gets a head off. Snorlax and DNM teaming up for a frag a piece here. Two headshots. Uh, Sis gets taken up by DNM as well. Uh, Frigid hiding in graveyard. They know exactly where he is. The smoke's coming raining in, and they're going to go B. But do they know there's a guy there? Oh, rotating, and he's just holding banana. He knows the rotation's happening, and the flash rating in, and now we're also fighting. His head gets taken up by Matt, though, but they are so low in health. The rotation is coming in. It's uh, frigid. He has quite a lot of health to work with. The smoke coming in. He's going to spray through. He does. He misses every shot, though, and he's going to flash himself through. The smoke comes running in, and do they know where he is? Can Strolax and Matt pull this off for his team, or is Frigid going to pull off the clutch? He smokes. He, he mollies he mollies the fountain, spots the uh, spots the arm of Matt over there. The bomb is planted. Snorlax is playing it slow at 19 HP. Frigid trying to go for it, but he's so low on head time, and Snorlax gets the headshot. Snorlax getting two kills that round, if I'm not mistaken, and 13-8. Uh, and I think they win the first T. Uh, they, uh, at the past four rounds, uh, NXL won all the buy rounds, and uh, Virtual Impact finally managing to hold the small, you know, the small little momentum that NXL had uh, managed to attain. And it, look at NXL, are, they're rushing mid. They're rushing mid. Soifong picking the guy, picking bad there, and uh, Rosify and uh, Frost Misty. They're just pushing banana at mid. DNM and Krish, however, dropped two people as well, but uh, Frosty gets a refrag onto DNM. It's now down to a 2 on 3 here. Krish so low on life support, and Zilkenberg, the only other guy in Banana. They don't know he's there. Zilkenberg gets another frag as well. He's at full HP. It's a 2 on 2. Soifong with the op and Frigid as well. And Soifong just holding Arch with that op. What are they going to do? Are they going to stick together and play? No, they're just going to hold the side all alone. It's going to be a B play cutting it. They spot the guy. At call, but Frigid just shutting Banana down with two quick kills. And Team NX will bring it back. It is now 13-9. Still in favor of Virtual Impact. And let's see what they do here. It is going to be an eco. Um, a flash. What's, no, uh, are they buying up? Are they going to force... No, no, no. Snorlax, just $950. They might have to go for a double eco after this, unless they don't get a plan. But anyways... P250s all around. Are they going to go for an aggressive mid push again? Yes, they are. Sis pushing in with that M4A1. He gets a kill on his Snorlax. Bridget teaming up another headshot onto Matt. And they're just praying through uh, the smoke here. Mid control completely. Mid and banana completely in the hands of NXL. And uh, Zilkenberg and uh, DNM, the last two men. I'm sorry, it's only Zilkenberg right now with his P250. And. Uh, in a pretty impossible situation. Oh, a nice headshot from Zuckerberg. He takes the second guy down as well. About draws the five shots and down with the headshot. NXL have been, uh, the last two rounds, playing extremely aggressively at mid, and it's been working out for them. They're getting complete map control. And look at Virtual Impact. You're forced to go for a double eco here uh, with Nate. So I'm assuming they're going to go for a mid-Nate mid play here. 
if I'm not uh, mistaken, because they know they're rushing mid, so I think they're going to try and go for a uh, mid nade. But this time, Sis, very smartly. No, no, it's going to be a B play, and Swyphon gets flashed off. He has the op here. It flashes out, nades out, gets the op, gets the first frag onto DNM. The flash coming in, two kills, misses the third kill. He gets shut down by Snorlax, but Rosify getting two more kills with a CZ off his. He's out of ammo, and once reloading, Snorlax takes him down. The bomb is dropped, but the rotation's already in. Sis coming in, he knows he's in coils, and the flash popping out. Snorlax peeking out, and a little too, uh, a little too late as the rotation happens, and Frigid gets the kill. But uh, two kills coming in. Uh, Virtual impact. It really doesn't matter if uh, NXL lose a couple of uh, players right now because they have built up a substantial economy uh, in the past three rounds here. So a buy round coming in and they have given the op to Snorlax. Every time he gets an op, he does something crazy. But no, Soifong shutting him down. And they're again pushing mid here. And NXL, they're playing crazy here. Frostmaze is getting a refrag, but... Uh, Zilkenberg again taken down as well. And it's all of a sudden it's again 2 on 4. NXL playing so aggressively. Not giving uh, Game God Virtual Impact any chance to do any setups. Or for that matter to get any map control whatsoever. And uh, But Krish peeking out from house there. Gets a frag. Gets two quick kills. And so, uh, to uh, Frost Misty. And uh, I think that was uh, Soifong. But there's another guy in... in, in Oh, and Crash getting three kills. It's all down to a one on two here. DNM, he's still holding, he's still holding. Krish selling, <laughs> selling an A fake here, just holding the angle. And DNM very smartly reading it perfectly. And Frigid obviously had to rotate. Obviously thought it was going to be, uh, it was going to be A. And Krish single-handedly turning a four on two situation around. And the bomb is going to go down. DNM is going to go construction. And Frigid. Completely caught out there, and he is going to come banana. But Krish waiting for him. That is he going to make it a quad kill. He sprays, he falls back very smartly. Not going to risk this one. The bomb is planted quite in the open here, and uh, the enemy just holding that. They know he's running in. He's going to check every angle he can. He spots the guy at uh, at, at the back box. It's triple. And uh, DNM and Krish getting a beautiful 4K, winning a two on four situation there and uh, virtual impact are just two rounds away from a very famous victory 14 11 is the score line ladies and gentlemen make some noise come on guys that's more like it and uh, uh still a full buy coming in from nxl they still have more uh, they still have money to buy even the next round as well even if they lose this and soy Fong. and finally their uh, aggressive mid rushes not happening this time around they're going to play extremely passively this time uh we have sis holding arch we have Soifong. Soifong holding at B over there. So let's look at uh, the setup here. I haven't really opened the map for a while. Um, Frigid holding really aggressive at carpets. Uh, is he going to fall back? Yes, he is going to fall back. So we got Sis, Frost, Mystery, and Frigid at A side. And Zilkenberg, Krish, slowly walking up there into carpets. So the bomb is with DNM, who is just uh, floating around mid. Uh, uh, sorry, on T-spawn, and it looks like it's slowly going to peak up mid here. Snorlax and Zilkenberg. They're going to peek in together, but it is no one's there. They're slowly falling, but they're slowly getting even more map control. NXL not risking this. They are just going to fall back if they have to. They're not going to lose another man in the process. They're just holding the angles, waiting for the rush to happen. And it is going to be the rush. Sis getting Snorlax and Zuckerberg down to very low HP. The flash coming out and the spring down. Sis getting three kills here. Chris Harvey replying back with a frag onto Frigid. Chris, oh, but get Harvey gets shut down and it's all down to Mad here. Gets a kill onto Frost Misty. He's jumping through the fire like a fire walker. He doesn't really care. He gets the bomb. They know he's there. And Rosify picking in. He spots. Oh, but he gets taken down by Matt as well. Matt, is he going to go? He is going to go. No, there is no time. I'm sorry. Even I wasn't looking at the time there. 14-1. He managed to save the gun, though. Uh, but it's going to be an eco round coming in from uh, Virtual Impact. Yes, it should be. Um, perhaps Krish and uh, DNM might drop a few p 50s here and there. And they're asking for a pause here. 
They're asking for a pass, so... <laughs> Server is finally passed. The admin, once again, not being attentive. <laughs> so, 14 is to 12 is a scoreline right now. It is going down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at the money here. Uh, NXL, they are, of course, on a buy here with an op on Soifong and uh, four M4A1s apiece. Everyone have the smokes and the flashes. They And uh, Virtual Impact. Oh, it's a pause right now. I should be speaking. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying the match. We do have a couple more matches coming up. I think we have... Uh, Brutality facing off against Team Wolf, uh, sorry, Team uh, Neckbreak next on stage. So don't go anywhere. We've got another another really interesting match coming up. So I'm not sure what the issue is over here. A uh, small little update from the admins. Uh, this is going to be the last match for the day, but please tune in tomorrow starting 10 o'clock in the morning where we will be having... All the main teams coming in. Uh, all the main teams coming in tomorrow. Uh, we will be having the upper bracket and the lower bracket finals, followed by the grand finals. So we have mission and stealth. <laughs> people cheering. People really complaining here, asking for one more map. But unfortunately, it is going to be the last map for the night. I am so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I would love to see one more map, but uh, the boss says no. So I am completely helpless in this regard. Looking at the score line here, we have DNM on thirty on a thirty bomb. <laughs> Everyone cheering him on, and uh, for NXL we got uh, Rosify on twenty three frags and uh, Christian Zilkenberg twenty two frags apiece. So let's see what happens at fourteen twelve. The game is still paused. I think there is. Uh, I keep. I'm not sure there's some some issue with the. Uh, with the system, I guess. So, anyways, I hope all of you guys are enjoying this match. It is turning out to be quite a cracker of a game. And there we have Mad looking towards the camera, Snorlax winking at us. <laughs> I'm not very sure what the uh, on whose side the issue is. Both the teams look very, very tense right now. How many hours for Brutality's matchup? I'm just taking a look at the uh, Twitch uh, chat here. It's going to be next day. It's going to be Brutality and Wolf. And I think the winner of this game is going to face off against Team MIS, if I'm not mistaken, for the upper bracket finals. Or, uh, yeah, it is upper bracket finals. And uh, I think, the f and of course, it's going to be the uh, grand finals as well. So it's going to be it's going to be tomorrow. But first, we want to get this game done with. I have no idea what's really happening. I think some issue with the uh, virtual impact guy systems. Anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the game, enjoying the the stream, the catch, the cast. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it is going to be a best of one for both the upper bracket and the lower bracket uh, finals. However, the finals will be the grand finals will be a best of three with no team carrying any advantage uh, going into the finals. All right, I just got a small little update from the uh, admins. It looks like the small issue with the team speak for uh, Virtual Impact, which should be sorted very soon. 
Yep, uh, the ear plugs. Oh, I'm sorry, the ear, the ear plugs. I guess are coming in. The it's gonna go live now. Anytime. Make some noise, guys. It's gonna go live. 14-12. The score line in favor of Virtual Impact. The winner goes to the upper bracket finals. <laughs> the crowd here is pretty bloody awesome. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys can hear the crowd, everyone watching on Twitch. Uh, I think the issue is still there. Snorlax still asking the admin to wait, not to unpause. So those of you who don't know who, who is, Snorlax is the gentleman on the left. His second to him, I think it's... Uh, I think that's... Zuckerberg, I guess. I'm not sure. The middle guy is DNM. Next to him is Matt. At the end, uh, I think that's Krish. Yes, it is Krish, the pro, sitting at the corner over there. There we have our very own Lord Knot trying to uh, do some magic and fix it. <laughs> and a cheer is coming up for Lord Knot as well as the headsets go on top. It is going to go live. I am hoping it's going to go live this time around. And they're asking for the unpause. And yes, 14-12. Eco round for uh, Virtual Impact. And it is live, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, getting into the game, it is going to be an eco round. Uh, I think Matt was able to uh, save the AK. There's going to be two AKs actually, Krish and Matt. Krish did have quite a lot of money, so he was able to buy up. And uh, mid is car. Car is smoked off. It looks like it's going to be a B play. Yes, it is. And oh, uh, Zuckerberg thinking the guy there. The smoke's coming in, but. He spots the guy at uh, at coils, and they're already inside. The guy in triple so low, and uh, Soilfong just on 12 HP. But so is Snorlax just on 13, 13 HP, and oh, this shutdown coming in. But DNM able to take the runs, but they know there's a guy there with the AWP. But uh, Zuckerberg gets him down, but he gets taken down by Sis as well. Frag the trade happening all across the place. It's all on to Chris. He has an AK. It's a two on one. He has. It is possible for him to actually clutch this, but. He's still got a time, 40, uh, 35 seconds on the clock. He has the bomb. He spots the guy, he's dropped down to one HP, gets a flat but gets finally taken up by Frigid. Uh, they should be pretty happy with that particular round, considering they were eco, but uh, look at uh, NXL. They do have some money, but not, would it be enough? They can't buy the M4s and the nades and everything, but uh, it's getting a little too tight to call right now. A little too close for comfort here and uh, Virtual Impact, they are going to go. They're going to force it up here. Uh, P250 on Mad. He's got a smoke and a flashes and uh, I think Snorlax and Zilkenberg trying to get a frag onto uh, Banana Soifong over there and then look at Frigid just rushing in. He's smoking off uh, Dark Room. So you can s but the smoke really not working out in his favor because it is a little too... He should be able to spot the guy before the other one does there. The smokes in CSGO uh, slightly unpredictable. And Rosify trying to play it safe, going to smoke it off. Uh, the bomb is with DNM. Krish slowly walking. You know, he's still flashing into, uh, into house there, but it's slowly falling back. It is going to be a B play. And Zilkenberg, can he spot the guy there? Oh, he gets taken down by Soifong. Uh, Soifong getting two quick kills. On to Zilkenberg and Snorlax. And DNM, what is he going to do here? 
he's been playing so good so far so very well and they are gonna smoke off oh Chris getting the frag though the flash not really landing with intended to uh, the side is smoked off and they're going to take over CT base here and the bomb is going to go down in the smoke uh, Matt is taken down the Chris getting a refrag the bomb is going to go down uh, but they've got one guy inside the site and the rotation is happening it's all down to Krish, getting two quick kills here. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Is he going to peek or not? He hears a guy there. Is he going to go for the defuse? Rosify, however, peeking out and getting the kill. He does. He doesn't have a kit though. But uh, I think he's got enough time for the defuse. The bomb had just gone down. It is going to be 14-14 right now, and the match is going to go down to the very wire to the very end. What are Virtual Impact going to do? Are they going to go for the tie and push it to overtime? Or are they going to go for the win? And they are going to try and force it up and go for the win here. They're going to force it up with three Galils, two AKs, flashes, nades, everything they can afford right now. And uh, NXL as well, pretty bad on money right now. But it is 14-14. <laughs> and they just got to... They're just trying. This is, a, this, is a, this is a knockout stage, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever loses here is out. So the best from both the countries, India and Indonesia. 14-14. It's looking so close right now. Matt getting taken down. 51 HP. Snorlax, they're holding, holding it at the tree area. And uh, just playing this slow. The bomb is still uh, near T-spawn here. They are just trying to... I think uh, Virtual Impact are just trying to get an opening pick... And Krish, the man, to do that, is he going to go for it? He is walking down boiler. He's got just one guy uh, at arch there. Uh, the NXL player is playing it very passive. But it looks like it's going to be a B play again. Uh, a very nice setup, actually, from uh, from NXL. Rossify just standing there in that uh, in that little craddy over there. And with the flashes coming in, and Rossify smoking it up. But they've got to push through the smoke. Do they see him? No, they don't. And it's a complete massacre at B here. All four down. And it's all down to uh, Krish to do something about it. Everyone cheering on Krish here. Can you really pull this off? A one on five situation. The bomb is dropped. It is a seemingly impossible situation. Look at NXL. Everyone stacking together. They're not taking any chances here. And they're not going to make him to save either. And the time is going to run out. They're running to try and get him. But Chris just got to save. Hold on to his AK. It is 14-15 in favor of NXL. Match point for them is Virtual Impact. Are they going to push it this overtime? Can they do this? It's on the less favored T side. But uh, it remains to be seen what they do here. Uh, CZ's attack 9 on MAD. Uh, oh, two AKs and a Galil. And NXL, the same side. They're rushing mid here. They are going to rush mid. They just want to shut this down, not give uh, Virtual Impact any room to play with. And Matt gets taken down there. Size gets a second frag. It's now down to a three on four. Though Chris getting the refrag onto Frost Misty. Frigid trying to pick. Should he peek here? He's going to peek out. He gets the guy. He spots the guy at alt mid. Gets ahead of Zilkenberg. And he gets the bomb on Chris. It's all down now to DNM. He gets a frag. Can he do this? Can he do it? No, I don't think he can. He gets spotted by the guy at Boiler. And DNM trying to his level best to save it for his team, try to push it over time, a one on three. He does have the bomb. Sis is pretty low on health, but they're marking each and every angle. He has no way out of here. It's going to require